I'm Deborah O'Grady and I'm a photographer. I've been photographing landscapes in California and the West for about 30 years and am also the director of this project which is setting out to stage a symphony by the French composer Olivier Messiaen. The piece is called Des Canyons aux Etoiles, From the Canyons to the Stars. It was commissioned by Alice Tully and it was written to commemorate the bicentennial of the United States. He got a book called Les Merveilles du Monde, which the marvels of the world, and it had a photograph of Bryce Canyon. And he looked at it and he said, this is the most beautiful place I've ever seen. I must go to Bryce Canyon. In the same trip, because it's very easy to do all three places, he went to Zion National Park and he went to Cedar Breaks National Monument. Those three places became the, the significant geographical points for the piece that he wrote. When I was in college at University of Michigan, undergraduate school, I worked in a camera store. So I was able to purchase some wonderful equipment. I moved to California and had this sort of strange epiphany, which was that I'd always wanted to study music. I got very serious about it, actually, and I ended up going to graduate school at UC San Diego and studying composition and uh, music theory. And having studied music opened up a whole different way of seeing for me and a whole different way of working. And in the meantime, I had encountered the sort of California photography, Ansel Adams, Edward Weston, more contemporary Richard Misrak, and I realized that that was what drew me, the landscape. The piece begins in the desert, and to me it's, the whole piece is really about the desert because it's that desert of contemplation, it's that desert of going deep inside yourself, seeking some form of spiritual connection to the world. Okay, so these four images here are from an area at the very southern end of Death Valley National Park. You'll hear birds everywhere. You hear them, but you rarely, rarely see them. I use this place for the second movement of the Messian, which is called Les Orioles, the Orioles, and it's a bird movement. Messian considered himself an ornithologist. He would go outside with music paper in the early morning, listen to birds and notate their song and then incorporate the birdsong into many of his pieces of music. Messian had a very strong sense of color in music, real color. And in an interview, he actually um, talked about going and hiking in Bryce Canyon with his notebook and taking extensive notes on the colors he was seeing. So, of course, that also has guided my eye when I visit these places. Given how spiritual Messian was and how his spirituality drove his desire to create music, Bryce Canyon is the place that excited Messian's imagination the most. These um, rock formations, which are called hoodoos, there are places in the music where the music literally just does this. I mean, you'll hear it and you'll see it. It's wonderful. Let's look at some of what Messian has put in the score, and you'll see I have lots of post-its. A um, little, little bit of introduction, a little piano solo, and then huge chords. And he says right here in the score, red, orange, rocks. So that's it. That's, you know, an absolute connection. I don't know anyone else who's ever done that. I don't know any other score that's, that's as richly connected to the place that, that he's inspired by as this.